Hello, I'm Melissa. Thank you for joining me today. Happy Easter if you're practicing with me on the actual day that I upload this video. If not, still happy to have you today. First off, new tank, hashtag social savasana, one of the new tanks um, that I have available. I also have one hashtag down dog distancing. And the tanks are to promote flattening the curve while we keep our connection and keep our yoga practice. Maybe we're even finding our yoga practice at this time. So today we will practice a nice gentle restorative practice um, that has a focus on strengthening our lungs, concentrating on lung health. Pranayama is the breathing exercises that we do in our yoga practice um, where we manipulate the breath. A lot of us are not using the full capacity of our, of our lungs whenever we breathe, especially when we become stressed, anxious. We're usually just taking very shallow breaths. So today we'll do different pranayama exercises to help us take the full capacity of our breath. Today, if you have available one blanket, please keep it close by. We will use it at some point during our practice. If not, you can manage without it. Okay, so um, with our breathing exercises, of course, um, with what we have going on in our country right now and across the, the world, the pandemic, um, we, um, this is such an important time for us to, to concentrate on exercises to strengthen our lungs um, and take full capacity of breath. And in Genesis 2-7, then the Lord God formed man of dust from the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And man became a living being. So as you allow the eyes just to go ahead and close now, Start to deepen your breath. The breath of life. What does that mean to you? As you're taking deeper breaths, allowing the spine to be nice and long. Feel yourself nice and rooted and feeling the shoulders loop down the back. The back of our neck is nice and long. And pretend that there is a string attached to the crown of your head and lifting you up taller. Taking one hand to your lower belly, one hand to your chest. We'll practice our belly breathing so as you intend to take deeper breaths, notice if it's just the chest that's rising or if you're able to take that breath into the lower diaphragm and fill in the belly press into that hand. As you exhale and release the air, noticing if the lower belly moves, if it relaxes here, that's what you want to feel. Inhaling, filling up completely. Exhale, releasing all of the air. Our yogic breath, our ujjayi breath is an audible breath that we practice. So we can start to integrate that as well, where we bring a, a slight constriction into the back of the throat. You'll be able to hear yourself breathing like ocean waves coming and going. Allowing the breath to calm you, bring you more centered. 
bring you into the present moment. After your next exhale, allowing the palms to meet at heart center, Anjali Mudra. As you take a moment here, just honor this time, this sacred time on your mat. On your next inhale, we'll flutter the eyes open and we're gonna go ahead and switch the cross of our, our legs, take the opposite foot in front to even it out. And we're gonna take our hands behind our back, first taking a hold of the right wrist with the left hand. So it's gonna look like this, but we're gonna do it behind our back. And as we inhale, we're gonna puff up in the chest, feel the ribs expand. As you exhale, fold in so your right nose is coming towards your right knee. Inhale, you're going to lift back up, expand. And exhale, fold in nose towards right knee. Inhale, open up. Feel the shoulder shrug down the back. And exhale, and nose towards right knee. And lifting back up, go ahead and switch the hands so you're taking the left wrist and the right hand, shoulders looped down the back, taking a full inhale. As you exhale, fold in, nose towards left knee. Inhale, coming back up, so the ribs expand. And exhale, fold and forward. Inhale, lift up, expand with your inhale. As you exhale, releasing all the air, fold and forward. Inhale, lift up. Now you're gonna take fists together behind your back. As you inhale, again, we're expanding, feel the chest expand as if the heart was radiating here, because it is and exhale, fold and forward. Inhale, lifting back up, really expanding with your inhale. Exhale, releasing all the air, fold and forward, navel slightly coils into spine. One more round, inhale, lift up. And exhale, fold and forward. Inhale, lifting all the way back up. Releasing the arms and just rocking the shoulders a little, looping the shoulders. Maybe letting the head rock a little from ear to ear. Now we'll make our way into our fish pose. So I'm gonna show you first supported fish where you can use your blanket. If you want to go in to the full posture, I will show you that as well. Either way is fine. Listen to your body as always. So taking your blanket that you have and we wanna roll it really tight. So you don't want just to roll like this. You wanna take it and I'm gonna Actually, I'm going to unfold mine like this, and I'm going to start here and start to roll it really, really tight. Making sure it's even. Any little discrepancy in the um, fold or any place that's uneven, it can make a huge difference, actually, whenever you come to lie on it. So we're gonna place it in the center of our mat and we're going to come and take the lower back to the edge of our blanket. And then we're going to come to lie over the blanket. So the shoulders are gonna open over the blanket 
and the head is going to come to the ground, the neck is open here. So if you need a little extra support under the head, feel free to find a little extra padding with another blanket. But the, the point here is to find an openness in the throat, in the chest. So you're here, you can bring the arms along the side, palms open. You can extend the legs. Let's flex the toes towards us for this one. So you can stay here if this is the fish variation that you would like to take today, or you can come onto your back and you're going to walk your hands underneath your hips. You're gonna press into the elbows, pressing into the forearms to lift the chest until you can feel the chest lift, the throat is open again, and you're coming to the back of the head or maybe even the crown of the head. Then here we're gonna point the toes away from us and take in 10 full breaths. So whichever variation that you're in, taking a full inhale, full exhale. Continuing that breath. Noticing where you feel the full inhale in your body. Right, whenever you finish, slowly lifting the head, coming back to the back of the head. If you're on a blanket, go ahead and roll to one side and remove the blanket. We're gonna walk the hands from underneath us and bend in the knees, walking the feet in hip distance. The outside of the feet will be parallel to the outside of your mat. Okay, so the back of the neck's nice and long here. So there's just a little slight tuck in the chin as the arms come along our side, palms down. We're gonna press evenly into both feet to inhale, lift up, making your way into your bridge pose. And here you can keep the palms planted or you may walk onto the backs of the shoulders a little more where you're interlacing the fingers. You're finding that deep in breath, wherever you are. Really expanding as you inhale. Feel the exhales extend. Nice, smooth breath. Feel the face relax, the jaw relax. And if you have the fingers interlaced, go ahead and switch your interlace, taking the opposite thumb on top. And while we're in our bridge pose, we'll talk 
a little more about our foundation as you find your deepened breath. So while we're here, we're not just allowing the knees to fall out. We're really engaging in the inner thighs, engaging the glutes, pressing into the arms to lift the chest. So you're able to expand more in your chest and take deep in breath. One more breath here. And then slowly releasing your interlace and rolling down one vertebrae at a time. Once you arrive, just feel the lower back release into the ground. And then hugging one knee and the other into the chest. Nice squeeze here. Allowing the shoulders to loop down the back. And then eventually releasing your inner legs and rocking yourself up to a seat. You can always roll to one side and make your way up that way as well. Great. Then once you arrive, we're gonna extend that right leg out long and cross the left foot over the right thigh. Kind of roll into your right hip to tuck that left foot beside the left. Yep, sorry, your right foot beside the left hip. Once you're here, we're gonna take the left fingertips behind us and then hook in that right elbow to the outside of the left knee. We're gonna find length in our spine, pressing that right elbow away from the left knee as you find a twist here. So we're not just hanging out in it, letting our body slump. We're intentional finding length in your spine. That's gonna help you take fuller breath. Inhale and fully. Exhale and fully. Remember the jaw is soft. Take one more breath here. And then take one more inhale, fill up completely. As you exhale, side out and return to center. So when we side out, we're just releasing the breath between soft lips. So we don't even have to tighten our lips for it, just letting it come out easy. Okay, so we're going to take that left leg now across and now extend the left leg. We're gonna take the right foot over the left thigh, rock over to your left side to hook that right foot behind you. So it's coming to that outer right hip. We're gonna take our right fingertips behind us and hook that left elbow to the outside of the right knee. 
once you get that elbow there, inhale, sit up really tall. As you exhale, start to deepen your twist. So again, we're finding a soft base. You can take the tip of your tongue and place it at the roof of your mouth. And that's gonna help you release in the neck and the jaw as well. Find in length with your breath. This breath helps induce abdominal breathing, the belly breathing that we were doing. And enhances the function of our lungs. Take one more full inhale and exhale here. Inhale again fully. As you exhale, release the air between soft lips, release into center. Great. Now uncrossing that right leg, taking the right knee on top of the left, we're going to make our way into our hands, onto our hands and knees, taking our wrist underneath our shoulders and our knees underneath our hips, spreading the fingers wide. We'll take a few rounds of our cow cat, another great chest opener that will help us, well, our, our cow is, but it helps open um, the chest and helps to Help us take fuller breath. So as we inhale, we're going to allow the belly to drop, feel the shoulders loop down the back. The gaze may slightly come up. As you exhale and round, you can really intend on pulling that navel into the spine and releasing all the air. So this is really helping us release the air or pulling the belly button into the spine. Inhale as you expand in the chest. Really take that full breath and exhale round, releasing all of the air. Okay, so take three more rounds, just moving with your own breath. It can be differently than mine. You can also integrate any movement that feels good to you. Let my head rock a little. Just anything that feels good to wake up the body. After you finish your rounds, go ahead and take the knees in towards each other, big toes to touch, and we're gonna come to sit on the heels. So we're gonna practice our Kapala body breath, and this is a fast breath um, that we take. Our inhales are really short, and as we exhale, we're gonna exhale through the nose as well, inhaling and exhaling through the nose but the exhale is really sharp and fast. And as we do that, fast exhale, we're gonna pull the navel into the spine. So you're gonna really take it and pull it in. Okay, so navel's pulling in and up and you're releasing all of the air. Okay, so instead of our belly breath, we're just 
allowing the belly to relax as we exhale. This is active and it brings a little fire into our core as well. So it's going to sound like this. So we'll do 10 rounds together and I'm going to snap as we do it. And that way you can just kind of find a rhythm with it. So let's take a full inhale first through our nose. A full exhale through our nose. And here we go. And then release, inhale fully. Exhale fully. Now we're gonna lift the arms up, taking the elbows and bending them out to our sides and trying to keep that rhythmic breath, that kapal body breath. Inhale and then exhale, not too forceful where you're hurting the self, but forceful exhale and we're gonna twist to our right. So let's do five rounds to the right and then five rounds to the left. Take a nice full inhale first through the nose. Nice full exhale. Here we go. And then you'll move five. And then releasing the arms by your side. Go ahead and let the chin fall to the chest. And then let allowing the head to rock a little from ear to ear. Bringing the head back up to neutral, grab an opposite elbow behind you as the heart lifts forward and up. And then releasing the arms, bringing the head back to neutral. Okay, so. Our lungs are primarily located more on our back body. So if you're having trouble breathing, um, you may want to lie on your stomach and start to take deep in breaths. Um, it may be a little easier for you to breathe that way instead of laying on the lungs. So we're gonna sit here, if this is okay, from you, okay for you, you can always place a blanket under the feet or in between the feet and the thighs just allowing the shoulders to look down the back and allowing the eyes to close. As we take these breaths, we're gonna take a count of five as we inhale, hold for five, exhale for five, and hold again for five before we inhale again. If you're pregnant or if you have, have high blood pressure, it's not recommended for you to hold your breath, so you can just inhale and exhale instead of holding um, but if you feel like you're healthy and able to do so you can join me in holding your breath so let's just go ahead and take a full inhale and exhale here just normal inhale and exhale as you inhale five four three two one, holding, four, three, two, one, exhale, four, three, two, one, hold, four, three, two, one, inhale, hold, Exhale. Hold. And continue in this breath, counting silently to yourself for a count of five, each section of the breath.
Go ahead and take in one more round as you are. And if you're having difficulty breathing, um, it's suggested by a doctor, I will have to look up his name, but at the end of 10 cycles of that, cough in to help clear the lungs. And then you can repeat that cycle. And then we're gonna come to lie on our back, I mean on our bellies. So going ahead and making your way there. We're gonna come into sphinx pose. So our elbows are going to be underneath our shoulders. We're making a number 11 with the forearms and spreading the fingers wide, pressing into the tops of feet. And we're engaging our thighs. So if, it's, if you're lifting the kneecaps up, feel the hips sink into the ground. Navel is slightly pulling into spine as shoulders relax down the back. The back of the neck is nice and long here. So the gaze is a few inches out in front of your fingertips. Finding your deepened breath. Right. Now, staying in this position, we're going to take a full inhale. As you exhale, taking your gaze over that right shoulder. Inhale, bringing the head back to neutral. And exhale, taking your gaze over your left shoulder. Inhale, the center. Two more cycles like that. and then making your way back to center. We're gonna come into our crocodile pose. So you can stack the hands and you're just gonna allow the heels to fall out here and you're gonna bring the forehead down to your stacked hands, just allowing the body to be heavy. And then you'll start to tune into your breath here and really feel the belly press into the ground as you take full inhales, filling up the lungs completely. As you exhale, you're releasing all the air. You may even notice how the ground presses back into your belly as you release all of your air. So we'll take five more rounds like that in your crocodile pose, just allowing the body to relax and find ease.
And then just finding a little rock from side to side here. Massaging your brow, your third eye. And then making your way back to center. Okay, we're going to take our left knee out to the side. You're bending in that left knee and we're gonna flex the left toes towards us. As we're here, we're gonna come into our cactus arm and allowing the head to come down to the left ear. If you need a blanket or a little extra padding under that left knee, feel free to place it there. As we're here, we're just allowing that left hip to sink towards the ground and finding our breath. We'll take five full breaths here. We're pressing into the top of that right foot now and not the heels not falling out anymore. So we're a little more active here, but still just finding ease and relief. After your exhale, go ahead and slide that left leg back behind you, pressing into the top of the left foot. We're gonna lift the head, turn your gaze to the left, coming to the right ear, and we'll slide that right knee out to the side now, flexing the right toes towards us. Again, we'll tune into the breath. Taking five breaths here, allowing that right hip to get heavy. If you need that blanket under the right knee, feel free to move it there. After your next exhale, go ahead and slide that right leg back, lifting up the head, taking the hands underneath the shoulders, pressing yourself into a tabletop position. Once you arrive, go ahead and take the feet to your left and come in to sit. We're going to make our way on to our backs now. And taking our fingers behind our head, you may feel the index finger at the base of the skull. Feel the elbows open wide and point the toes away from you, finding a long line of energy from the tips of your toes to the crown of your head. Taking a full inhale. As you exhale, release the arms along your side, palms facing up. And go ahead and you can kind of walk the legs out a little wider, allowing the toes to fall out. You may even press into the back of the head to lift the chest and walk the backs of your shoulders underneath you a little more. 
and then releasing the upper back, allowing yourself to melt into the ground. And tuning in to your natural breath. Allowing the jaw to relax, the eyes to relax into their sockets, the skin of your face to relax, and this surrendering pose, Savasana, our corpse pose. The most important pose of our practice, preparing us for meditation, allowing our body and mind to absorb our physical practice. Even though it was slower today, still important to give ourselves time to take in what we just did. or entering back into our day. So you're just allowing yourself to find as much ease in the body as you can. For as long as life is in me, and the breath of God is in my nostrils. Allowing your mind to meditate on those words. Now taking three more breaths here, acknowledging how you feel, noticing if you're taking deeper, fuller breath. And then starting to wiggle the toes and fingers. Taking this deep in breath with you, this centering, this peace. Seeing your lungs in perfect health, functioning properly with ease. Extending gratitude from your heart to God. And then bend one knee and the other. Make your way onto your right side in a fetal position. You may use your right arm as a pillow here. Taking a nurturing moment here to give yourself thanks for showing up for yourself today.
and then pressing into that left hand. Find in your comfortable seat, maybe you find Supasana. Allow the eyes to close here if you have opened them. We'll take a few full cleansing breaths. The Spirit of God has made me and the breath of the Almighty gives me life. So 33, four. Prior verse came from Job 27, three. Allowing your hands to meet at heart center Blessings and Namaste. Thank you for sharing your practice with me today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't subscribed to my page already, please take the time to do so. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, let me know what you enjoyed about the practice, what you would like to see next. And I hope to see you again soon. I thank you so much for practicing with me today. I hope the rest of your day is beautiful, that it's easy, and you take full, healthy, cleansing breaths. Thank you.